What? Sunglass lines? Yeah. Thanks for fixing my makeup. Okay, cool. Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel, Living Jody. I'm Ja. Oh, we're going with that. <laughs> I'm Cody. <laughs> and today we're going to do our very first Celebrity Big Brother recap video. Yeah. Well, we're fans of the show, so we figured we'd probably give our input. I guess we were on it too. Yeah, you guess we were on it? Yeah. But yeah, this is really awesome because we really do love the show and I wasn't sure if we were going to be able to watch it the same way again, but I am still fangirling like I always have, so let's dive right into it. She's a live feed nerd. Only recently because I got used to like stalking him on live feeds. I was like the crazy girlfriend who was out of the house and when you have cameras that can watch your boyfriend, why not watch your boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> so I want to talk a little bit about our uh, our favorites in the beginning of the show. We're a week yeah. into the show now, three episodes deep. So we've already had an HOH, a nomination ceremony, and an eviction, and we're going to cover all three of those episodes in this video. So who's your favorite starting off? My two favorites are starting off are Brandy and James. I don't know too much about James outside of the fact that he was on Nickelodeon, but I know he's one of those like little teeny boppers. So I think that he might have like a really easygoing personality. It might be, well, this is how I felt in the beginning. And I thought maybe he'd be really friendly and that might get him by, but now I know that that's not the case. And Brandy, because she's an absolute alcoholic and she is so hysterical. I'm a huge Real Housewives of Beverly Hills fan. So the fact that there is a Beverly Hills housewife in the house, I'm stoked. I figure Brandy will go far just because she's been on the show in the UK before. I never heard of James. Not once. Never saw anything he was on, anything like that. No, I, I don't even know what, I know he's part of Big Time Rush, but I don't know what that is. But I figured Brandy would go far. Not saying I'm a fan of Brandy. I just figured she'd go far. I'm a fan of drama. If you guys watched the very first episode, you might have recognized a few familiar faces. We were on it. <laughs> we were on the very first episode of Celebrity Big Brother, which is super, super, super cool. Cody doesn't do anything. He just sits there like a robot. That's what I did on Big Brother in the first place. <laughs> so when CBS called us and asked us if we wanted to be a part of it, we were really flattered and really excited. And yeah, so technically we can say we've been in the house for two straight seasons. <laughs> Celebrity Big Brother. It's kind of cool to be a part of the first season though. Yeah, absolutely. For the record, we were there literally all day and it was such a quick shot. And it's funny because we were not B-roll. I know it kind of looks like it when you watch the episode. We were not B-roll. We were there while the competition was going on, like sitting there watching during the live number. Yeah, I was hoping Brandy would like glance over and I could give her like a little wink wink gun gun. Uh, that competition was really awesome and I love endurance competitions. They were always my favorite in the house and I wish we were a part of that. But what do you think about Shannon winning the first H of H? You knew right away that it was gonna, a, a competition like that was gonna favor a girl. Absolutely. And the reason I thought that was because the little ledge that they had to stand on was really, really small. So it was gonna be catered to someone with smaller feet. So obviously I went straight to thinking a female could do it. Yeah, and then I think you called Shannon winning it, didn't you? I called Brandy winning it. Oh. When she started bouncing up and down and twerking on the statue though, I was thinking maybe, okay, she wasn't gonna. <laughs> she was probably drunk going into that competition. She was definitely drunk going into that competition. I expected uh, Chuck Liddell to do better. Meta, I called Meta falling for one of the first people like right away because he is way too big for that competition. It was not made for him at all. I figured the way James talks that he would last longer. But James was second in the competition. What I mean is I, I thought James would win because he talks like he's just the best at everything. He almost won, so he I give him props won. for that, but especially because- Almost winning isn't winning. It's true. But Shannon winning is, God, I think everyone feels the same way about Shannon right now. It's like, she's so intelligent and she knows the game and she's such a super fan, but she's put such a big target on her back that seeing her win this game seems like a really fat chance. Yeah, Shannon's coming off pretty aggressive. Really aggressive. But I, I dig it because she's playing like, and she's playing hard. She definitely turned up the gameplay, like right, people are forced to play because it's a shorter game and Shannon's just talking strategy, strategy, strategy. Like anyone that's sleeping in this house is gonna not gonna last. Both Shannon and James going head first in the game, I'm loving it. Yeah, I mean, it's cause James is reminding you of you. Shannon, I think, 
reminds me more of the way I played in the sense that like she was she's first HOH, but then she also blew up her alliance essentially right away. Right? Yeah, that all girls alliance was blown up so fast, broke my heart. She's smart though. Who do you think has the best DR sessions so far? I like Amorosa's DR sessions because she doesn't yell. Yeah. She just calmly talks to the camera. She's very like the soft spokenness is kind of scary, you know? Like it's almost like when your parents reprimand you, but they're not yelling at you. They're kind of just talking way too calm and it's extra scary. That's the vibe I get from Amorosa's DRs. You know, most of them actually talk pretty calmly in the DRs. Uh, who, who Marissa it doesn't. Was Marissa Sh yells. Shannon yelled. Mark yells. Did he? Oh. I mean, James is a pretty calm talker in there. James has some really good DR sessions. And Brandy has one of my favorite moments in the show so far when she is talking shit about Omarosa and then t tells the audience that she's currently wearing her shoes and that Omarosa is her bitch. Oh my god. The best thing in all three episodes thus far. I think Keisha's boring. Keisha's so boring. Ugh. What do you think about the gift bag? Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Twist. I, I guess I don't think much of it. I hate they, it. They, they used it once. It'll never be used again. What are the odds of like nine people going into the DR and Keisha's the one who gets the color picked and the recast? I'm sure there was more recasts in there than swag. Yeah, I absolutely hate the gift bag twist because I really don't understand it. I like zone out after one sentence of the explanation, so. Okay, so nominations. What do you think about the nominations being James and Chuck Liddell? I think everyone assumed it was going to be James and Chuck. Yeah. I don't think anybody assumed any different. Yeah. So that was pretty obvious. And then everything blew up after that. I completely disagreed with Keisha, Keisha's notion of um, taking Chuck down and putting up Mark just to scare him. I think it's just unnecessary drama. I like the way that Omarosa explained it where like you have to take people out of their comfort zone and shock them to throw them off for the remainder of the game. But I also think that that could backfire and it could just send someone in, it could light a flame under someone's ass and next thing you know, they're competing harder than they normally would in an HOH competition. So if people wanna sleep through the game and sleep through competitions, I'm willing to let them. So I don't really like Keisha and Omarosa's plan and I'm glad that Shannon and Ross ignored them. Well, Ross was pretty fed up because they, uh, he was put on the outs with the girls. Yes. Clearly. I mean, I, I don't know why his expectation was any different. It was so rude of Keisha to have that conversation in front of Ross and completely discredit him being involved. Like, if you're going to be a leader in an alliance, then you should kind of make everyone feel comfortable and equal and not berate them and make them feel like they're disposable because they're going to become more likely to stab you in the back. So props to Ross for figuring that out immediately. Yes, props to Ross for saying something. Props for, to Ross for flipping the vote and getting Shannon on board. I loved it. I thought it was great. It was pretty much all Ross. It was Ross that started it. And it was because yeah. Keisha made those comments and made him feel disposable. So what did he do? He stabbed, yeah, I wouldn't even call it stabbed her in the back, but she did deserve it, so. Yeah, Ross is smart. Yeah. Crafty. And that left James in the house. And right now, we're a fan of James, right? I, I'm team Maslow, yeah. You're team Maslow? Yeah. Okay. Because so the, the guy went head first into it. He got put on the block and in basically an incredible fashion was able to save himself and yes. i'm not really sure incredible fashion he worked it he did he, not he take did it laying it. down yeah i loved it yeah it was a really good eviction week so you're cool. officially team james yeah i'm team maslow okay i'm gonna go with team ross his last name's matthews right ross matthews i think it's I matthews know. so i'm team matthews you're team maslow yeah Week one recap. How do you feel about Chuck leaving? I called Chuck leaving from the start. You did, yeah. didn't you? Yeah, because they, they're they gonna think the game's more physical than it actually is. If they watched our season, they would realize that even a girl who was crippled uh, <laughs> won a sprinting competition, so. So that's our week one of Celebrity Big Brother recap. Next week, we'll have a brand new recap video for you guys. We want to know what team you guys are on. So if you're team Matthews, if you're team Maslow, 
if your team, whoever, I want to know who you're rooting for right now after after the first week of episode. So yeah. leave a comment below. And if you liked our recap video, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't like our recap video, don't hit the thumbs down and subscribe to our channel. All right. <laughs>